Barkley, Shut Up and Jam Guiden. We are currently sitting in the Underground Road trying to go to Kachulain's tomb so we could talk to her. We're not going back to Pro Neo, New York. I'm heading towards the outskirts of the city. That's where we're going to. Alright, then get on. I'm going to be leaving soon. Their board was taken off in a minute. Hopefully not more battles. What's his name? What? Your son, what's his name? Oops. It might be someone I used to know, someone from a long time ago. His name was Judas. Judas. He was the only man I ever loved. Or the only man I ever tried to love. After he's gone, I just couldn't handle any other man. They say only the people who find true love can ever move on. Maybe that's what we have. Can never move on. What happened? Do you mind if I ask? A long time ago, I can hardly remember it. We got caught up in some stupid fight in that hill. I told him it was stupid. He, he knew it was stupid, but he was one of those guys who held on to an idea and wouldn't let go. My wife, Marine, died 12 years ago. I never bring myself to love another woman after I lost her either. How long have you been down here? Proto Neo New York? The Underground Railroad. That <laughs> seems like forever. Maybe it has been, I don't know. Every day seems like forever without Judas. But today didn't seem so bad. I must say, most people don't come to the outskirts of Neo New York unless they're running from something. Or maybe I'm wrong. I don't know if you're right or wrong, really. It's not my business. I want to thank you for bringing us out here. I don't know why you're thinking me, miss. This place is as close to hell as you can get without being there. Not too many people live here, and the ones that are here are only here because they got nowhere else to go. But I don't think you're like those people. Harriet, thanks. Be careful. Take care of your son. Yeah, I lost this frickin' super gun. Because I'm a moron. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was really dumb of me. Let's see what else we got. We got any, like... No, I don't know if we have anywhere else we can go. No. Nope. Just hoping to find a place uh, to charge up again. At least I got different music for this part of the game. Ugh, oops. Get a few more of these 
basketball tears. Oh, we still got new music for this part of the game. I'm kind of pissed that I got rid of my super gun. I think the gun I got right now is not very good at all. Alright, well anyway, we gotta go north to find that tomb. Near Proto Neo New York. Chub mines. Whoa, huh? What's going on here? We Duggars can no longer tolerate the injustice put upon us by our genie captives for too long. What? We allowed them, and Square is going to force us to mine chops. No longer, I say. My father mined for rubies and gemstones, as did his father, and his father before him, and before him, and so on, to be reduced to mining chops for genies. They'd be ashamed of us. Here, here. What do you say we do, Jamal Blood Guzzle? I said we should go on strike and give these genies who disturb our right to accumulate treasure for our ghoulish Durger gods a piece of our minds. Aye, I'm with you. We'll toil no longer for the genies until we get a better contract, one that grants us all the civil liberties that Duggars are entitled to. Since we've come to a Square Enix Goya run mine that's run into a few labor problems, perhaps we find some way to help. You guys are always giving me dragging this shit, I don't want to do it. This is the every man for himself post cyber apocalypse. Post cyber apocalypse. I don't even. I don't have time for this shit. I don't even know what we can do to help. <laughs> These are Duggars Barkley, my brethren. He's granted me the courtesy to visit them. It's been far too long since I walked amongst the dwarves. Fine, we can see what what's up. But I'm not getting involved in this shit. Jeez Louise. I visited Chup Mines, home of Duggars and rec our, recently our genie masters. Curse all genies, big or small. No matter their size or shape, I want to batter them with a spike lead and war hammer and sorcelled with eldritch enchantments. I'm sorry, I got carried away, but Duggars are predisposed towards violence and ensorcelled weaponry. Regardless, my ebony friend, these genies have taken away our rights and we demand them back. Be warned, if you are part genie, your blood will be spilled. Okay, well, I'm not. I, indeed, I am Fedigar Murderstone, and I have murdered many a uh, man and beast in my lifetime. I have done so for many reasons, but namely for coins and rubies. One night I broke into the zoo and murdered the fauna. It seems that even the great apes are susceptible to the blows of my flail. But alas, I have grown old and weak and can no longer murder as I did my youth. Uh, these guys don't seem nice to talk to. Green <clears throat> strange, I'm an ancient genius granted many thousands of wishes. Perhaps I could grant yours. I was rubbed from a land many years ago, and my mission is to steal civil rights from Duggars. Perhaps you could call it racism. That is one of the main goals of all genies. Lately, though, it seems our efforts to fully dehumanize the Duggars have been impeded by their blasted strike. If you could somehow aid our quest of intolerance, I am sure I could give you my jodhpurs of the Falcon. Falcon, huh? That's pretty funny, huh? Hmm. These Duggars really think they have the right to eat Dunkaroos. Don't they realize we genies were rubbed out of magic lamps? What well, fools. They even begin to think they have the same civil rights as genies. Duggars are simply a means to an end. And that is precious chups. They're Square Enix Goya. I like how Square Enix are, are also so associated with Goya. I think who makes Mexican food mostly. Rothgar Satchkin, greetings, young one. I see you cannot resist attempting a lure of my bubbling brews and potions. Many a Durger has gulped from my eldritch tonics. Perhaps you would like as well. Tell me, young one, how far away did you detect the scent of my arcane concoctions? Just ten feet. A mere ten feet? Perhaps my bubbling brews need more. I have newt. No matter, my boy. It seems a product. Oh my god, you're just selling potions. Trajan Kikachi has been slowed tremendously because of the nefarious journeys and I am becoming malnourished. You see, my boy, all I eat and drink is elixirs. If something isn't done and done soon, well, my bruise may bubble no longer. If you were able to do something about it, I may even pass on a few of my precious tinctures to you. Okay. 
Helper the Dire. Ah, the cool air of the dank cave littered with gemstones on mine. Is there anything better? A oh, green stranger did not notice you there. I was simply musing to myself about caves and sewers. My name is Pelpok the Dire, and I am called that because I am a dire dooger. We are like normal doogers, but our love of rubies and gemstones increased tenfold. In addition, we are simply more dire in demeanor. I am an advocate of all caves and sewers. This includes both dank sewers and mysterious sewers. Sadly, it's been many years since I set foot in a sewer, as the genies have outlawed them. But I wouldn't give for walking the sewers but once more. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm sad about these towns because everybody's got so much to say. I mean, it's nice to help paint the world, but shit. It's a lot of talking. Abracadabra and Alakazoo. How oh, you caught me? Just as I was conjuring up an ancient genie hex on Durgers. Lately, we genies have been contemplating importing sledge elves to help with the labor. Durgers and sledge elves have a long standing feud, and there's no doubt that Durgers would object fiercely. This is precisely why we need to do this. This is merely my own personal philosophy, but I believe we should display our intelligence for Durgers on every level. Jeez. There's a note here. Maybe somebody dropped it. Let's take a look. Dear Jesus, I think we should try to be as racist as possible to the Durgers. If we can, let us take away their civil rights, such as the right to wear gem encrusted ambulance, and the right to eat anything with vitamin C. Sincerely, Muhammad Genie Bane, chief of all genies combined. This certainly is concerning. It looks like a genie might have dropped it. This is real and implies the existence of a conspiracy that goes beyond the realm of Square Enix Goya. We better get to the bottom of this and find out what's really going on in the chub mines. Really? Can't we just go to the tomb? I'm involved in too much stuff. I'm with Charles on this one. It certainly is interesting enough. Help me. Are you alright? What's the matter? Dunkaroos. I require Dunkaroos. What the hell is Dunkaroo? Come on, Pap Pap. Don't be such a rube. A delicious cookie snack that you dunk in a velvety frosting. Hence the dunk in Dunkaroo. Uh, I knew that, Oops, I just don't remember. They've been feeding us nothing but vitamin C. I need a dunk, dunkaroo. It's passed out, this is serious, Dad. He really needs those dunkaroos. Two things the dirt can resist, Barkley. One is rubies, the other is a dunkaroo. This is grave indeed, grave indeed. The thing is, though, these dirgers seem like... I mean, like, Mr. Murder Storm over there, you know? They don't seem that nice. But these, I mean, obviously these guys are being oppressed, but... Oh, friend or foe? Come here, friend. I, I, I can tell from the compassion in your voice that you're no foe. Even if you told me you were a foe, I wouldn't believe you. I may be a durger, my friend, but I'm not gullible. Okay. I used to be the strongest durger in all the chup mines. Heh. You used to call me the bastard of muscles. And that's just what I was. I could lift two durgers over my head at the same time and punch through both friend and foe. But then I went blind. My muscles atrophy. I could do nothing but knit patriotic quilts to keep myself warm. And now the genies have outlawed all patriotic quilts. I can't do the one thing I have left. Grash them, our ghastly Durger deity. Bless this land and people and give me the courage to continue without my patriotic quilts. Okay. No, we demand the right to rubies and gemstones to kill the treasures part of Durger heritage. Something you can't take away from us. Glittering goblets and chalices are one thing, but rubies and gemstones are unforgivable. I'm sorry, but studies have proven that rubies and gemstones promote laziness in the workplace and minimize efficiency. Square Enix going at once to ensure maximum efficiency and quality in the mining of all chops. That's ridiculous. Rubies and gemstones are the essence of Durga. A Durga without a dazzling ruby is like a genie without a lamp. That, that was uncalled for. What's going on here? We're discussing the terms that Durgers return to work from strike. You're Charles Barkley, aren't you? Now look, I don't want to get involved in none of this malarkey, but nothing to do with magic lamps and gemstones. Wait, wait, I think I need input. I think we need input from a third party on this issue. Someone who's already an established member of the community. What are you implying, Chief Blood Guzzle? That's because Charles Barkley is a third party that represents the interests of neither of us. He'd be able to more efficiently negotiate the terms for our return to work at the Chubb Mines. Look, I said I don't want anything to do 
They have this new chance to do something really good for the world. A chance to make someone's life better. <clears throat> You've got a chance to give back to the dwarves after all they've given you, Barclay. You've got a chance to serve your country and Square Enix Goya. Dad, I believe in you. I know deep down you know what's right and what to do. If you do it, will you meditate? Mediate for the Declaration of Durga Rights? Oh, fine. Fine. I'll do it, but I want you to know I don't give a damn either way what happens. It is noble of you to agree to help us, Charles Barkley. Truly a man of character. I'm no role model. <laughs> Format of the Declaration of Durga Rights is simple. To be asked questions, you present with a number of answers. Choose the answer you most agree with. Ah, dang. Some answers will favor one party over another, while others will be compromised. I'm not asking you to favor us Durgers, Charles Barkley. Please consider each question carefully. Are you ready to write the Declaration of Durga Rights? Raise I ever be, I guess. What's your opinion of sledge elves? No more coexist of fire or water. Towering against him. True neutral to all. Uh, true, yeah, neutral. How do you feel about the current sewer crisis? Um, all sewers have a purpose. What should be the primary diet of all Duggars? Dunkaroos. Remove the ban on bubbling tinctures. All brews are not legal. Unban tinctures, but only if they're arcane. <laughs> what should be done about in source weaponry? Jam is a little. Uh, what's your stance on Durgers with patriotic clothes? God bless this land, not them. They keep us warm. How many hexes can be placed on each Durger? All of them lavish. Zero hexes. What is the minimum ratio of gilded chalices and rubies? How many caverns is each Duggar allowed to spill on? Oh, jeez Louise. Yeah, sure. The first clear favor of the Durgers. You have no choice but to accept the Declaration of Durgar rights, Muhammad. Genie Bane. You agree to the terms of the negotiator. Drat! I trust you, Barkley. Thought you were loyal to your country, your family, and Square Enix Goya. My family? Durgers are my family now. What? Huh, it seems my trust is this place. We have nothing more to speak of, Charles Barkley. Barkley, come here. I know we Durgers do not have much, but I feel the need to repay you for what you've done. Oh. Just once in every Durger's life, he is overtaken by an urge so powerful that he cannot control himself. No. He's on an urge for Ruby's Red, as you may have guessed. It's urge to create. Yes, we have blacksmiths and woodcarvers and what have you that create on a daily basis. But this is an urge to create something more than a mere object. This is an urge to create art. This is a sacred part of every Durga's maturity, and when we are touched by this desire to create, all of us must allow it to continue unimpeded. It's called the Awakening of Artisan. What we create during an awakening is a work of unparalleled splendor that can never be replicated as past. I want you to have an item that I forged in my awakening, Charles Barkley. Shrek rope? Is yeah, and Shrek Moon or regular Moon except it has a picture of Shrek on it. I forgot. It twixt the hammer and ample, and it is the one I am most proud of. Even more than my client. It is yours, Charles Barkley. Take it. Take care of it, Charles Barkley. And know that you are now a friend of the Durgers all over the globe and beyond. Jeez Louise. That was an awful lot of talking. Good item. I got Sh Shrek Peaky. Let's take a look. What does that do? Oh, very nice. Now look at the gun sticker. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, now is everybody fucking happy? That would have been funny if the dude, like, attacked me. Like, the Durger. Even though I took his side. And I am intentionally not talking to these people. Because I, if they change their dialogue, it will be very long-winded. Is this it? Hmm. They say the ghost of a Celtic space warlord haunts. A two-lane's tomb. And his horde of banshee minions swords for anyone enters. Not that I'm the authority of the two lane or anything. I make a habit of not entering donjons. Most like a probably has dealt the hard times for just about everyone, and you look to be no exception. At least I can do is offer you a place by the fire. Why don't you sit down and rest a while? Oh man. You're headed to Kachula and Stuba, aren't you? Yeah, we're looking for manufactured jam site. So this tube is just north there. It's a dangerous place, and every once in a while we hear walls and moans coming from it. We try to stay away from it, but if you absolutely have to go, I talk to Burp before you leave to stock up on supplies. Alright, thanks a lot. You be careful. Don't end up like one of the banshees. How many people come here? You on the run? Look for Cachillian's tomb. You know where it is? It's a building in the back of the parking lot. You know, I think you're going unprepared. You better stock up, man. Better get the gun here. Yeah, where I got that? Dwarf muscle. Oh man, we don't have enough money for it. How about that? Hellsauber. It's a new one. Oh man. First time we don't have enough money for stuff. So I might have to do a little bit of money grinding. How about that? We got the Shrek Mono. Or the Shrek Mono. That was pretty, pretty important, I guess. I don't know. It's kind of funny. He's like, this is, I'm going to give you a great thing. Huh. Yeah, I really wish I hadn't lost it. Oh, is that it better than the gun we had? It doesn't have anything on it. Oh, I can sell some of this old equipment too to this dude right here. Many lands in an attempt to compile a comprehensive guide to all the creatures that go pump at night. Perhaps you could call it a beast here. Whatever you call it, my knowledge extends far beyond that of most worlds. Perhaps you would choose to partake in it. Oh, look at that. Evil black dwarves that live. <laughs> They're evil? Shit. Boys Bruce wish to dwell endlessly, so as to further the agenda of their ghastly tucker gods and battle constantly with other subterranean menaces. They're highly skilled with double handed adamantium weaponry. Sledge Elf. The swamp is the main thing proximity to their primary form of substance. Tar, they skew the use of magical weaponry and comments they're preferring to more primal feeling of unarmed fighting. Most Sledge Elves adopt the path of transmuter where they harness dangerous powers of alchemy and bubbling brews. A Drider. A sexual subterranean offspring of dark elves or drow spiders. <laughs> Curse of forever wander labyrinthine underground caves in search of foes the menace most riders are incapable of communication and thought to be functionally retarded. But uh, that does not diminish their capabilities to deal wheel or dual wield exotic weaponry. Gas reanimate undead. Corpses, the hill dwarves. Okay. Bugbear. Yeah. We didn't see any. Doppelgangers, yeah. Blue Dragon Kin. Hmm. Huh. 
Red Dragon can recover two layers of skill. I guess that's enough for now so thanks for watching guys i appreciate it and uh we'll go ahead and uh pick it up in just a little bit bye bye